Lost in Talks podcast, episode 40. Canada Day outside. Barbecue. Barbecue. <laughs> Bro, guys, we're outside. Edition. That's fucking crazy. How do we get we? here? <laughs> yeah, we're outside. We man. spent the last two hours setting this shit up. <laughs> Pretty much, yeah. <laughs> I managed. We. I thought it wasn't going to work. <laughs> we, had a, we had a nice little barbecue, you know. I had some turkey burgers. Homemade. Yeah, some homemade ones too. Yeah, eh? Some food. We got the crafties. Thought the yeah, the lost craft delivery came in. We don't even have the full the full uh the yeah. full repertoire to show. Yeah, we had the mangoes, the the mango splash or something like that earlier. I just want to talk about how convenient Lost Craft is. This is not sponsorship again, but guys, they delivered that shit to your house. <laughs> yeah, with, with a bag of chips. With fucking pizza. Like do you understand how sick that is? With a bag <laughs> of chips and and a, and a pint. Like, you don't have to go to the LCBO and get your shit. It just comes to your house same day. That's nice. You could throw a pizza onto that order, too. Yeah. No problem there. My mic is backwards. <laughs> okay. Outside edition, kind of lit, but mostly full and happy. We got mosquitoes all around us. Bro, yeah. like, honestly, this big-ass bug might hit me in the face. We point. got June bugs flying around. <laughs> I didn't even know they were called I've June yeah, bugs. Yeah, I've seen a swarm like this the that June I've never bug. even thought about in my life yeah bro that's what happens yeah. you're gonna hear gun sh- like you're gonna hear gunshots in the background because there's like literally gunshots yeah yeah we're, we're in a war zone <laughs> Vern. Vern. <laughs> Vern, you know how you guys what are you guys saying i don't Start know if town. the fireworks are every, uh, if this is what new york is talking about like times 100 then i don't know what the fuck new york is going through right bro they're now. going through it because i like what we're going through right now here is it's noticeable it's like kind of annoying it's not an it's not like uh i've seen people being like yo my dog's getting caesars or whatever yeah it's not like that i don't think i mean i don't have a dog but like it's not like yo like this is keeping me up at night and like i'm losing sleep but every time i open a window you just hear a bop you know it's wild yeah hey what's going on in new york (laughs) <laughs> this guy tried to set it up yeah. hey. I actually don't I don't even know Yeah explain I what's didn't going on Thanks So Kevin, yeah Yeah Kevin will explain So I mean Yeah like I heard fireworks Whatever like Starting a couple weeks ago But apparently it's been a thing for The entire quarantine and Yeah there are, there are articles now That you can see on like The New York The New Yorker New York Times One of them Where and, and They're just talking about Like apparently like The big cities have been Seeing an uptick in uh, firework noise uh, every night since the quarantine but especially since you know the whole kind of george floyd and black lives matter thing yeah in the past couple weeks basically is it's really been kicking up and that's like the first time that i started hearing about it so then obviously you're gonna there's been a lot of conspiracy theories that have been going around the most notable one has been was by a novelist i can't remember his name but uh it was like published on like in like an article and he was talking about how um, you know, these fireworks are actually a government thing uh, to sort of disrupt black and brown people's sleep patterns, but then also to desensitize all of us to the sound of gunfire because uh, he believes a war is, was, is imminent, which, yeah. you know, I don't want to be a full conspiracy theorist, but like, I mean, I've been thinking the same thing as well, that yeah. a war is happening. So like, yep. and then the, so the plot, the explanations that they have f- as to why you know as for the you know the non conspiracy theory an- answers are basically that uh because you know we're a lot more inside right now there's a lot less noise pollution so you can hear things a lot clearer so you can hear things like fireworks a lot more clearly and then also because a lot of teenagers and stuff are at home now people have been just busting off fireworks a lot more frequently at night but mm-hmm. like literally I mean, e- here in Toronto I, or in Scarborough, I've been hearing it ba- basically every day. But then apparently in places like New York, Chicago or whatever, it's been like crazy, crazy. Yeah. yeah. So I don't know. Yeah. And uh, it's Canada Day right now, as we said. So it wouldn't be uncommon to hear fireworks. But also like it. I heard it last night. I heard it the night before. Yeah, so. I've heard it a couple of nights. Yeah. And again, I've seen somebody drive by just once. I mean, had them shooting them out the window Mm -hmm. and that's the other thing too yeah like so we've been hearing a lot of fireworks basically since we've been here at like seven or eight and we've seen a couple like you know maybe like five percent of the the noises we've heard from uh, that should be fireworks Mm -hmm. have translated to actual fireworks in the sky but yeah other than that like it's just been noise but it sounds close like it sounds like it's next door but you don't see anything Mm -hmm. yeah hmm very interesting. How do you feel about that? 
<laughs> yeah, yeah. I oh, don't know. It seems a little far fetched yeah. to me. Like it maybe it's a coincidence. I just that's the thing. I don't like the plausible explanation either. I don't like that that kids are just bopping off fireworks because it's quarantine. I, I mean, I get it. I get it. Yeah, and I would make but sense. I don't like that. But I don't think we would be bopping off fireworks if we were in grade six right now every day. But we, and we were, you know, we were home because of quarantine. Yeah, we wouldn't have access to like the amount of rapid fire fireworks <laughs> that, <laughs> that are that, going that, off. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, but it's just I, I it just seems like it would require too much coordination oh, yeah. from yeah. the government. To but do also, that there was that picture yeah. of, of the reach. police like you know laying down just piles of bricks. Bricks and shit. Yeah. Like that. Yeah, what? Well, do that's... we know who's doing that? Like, police. yes, the police. Because because <laughs> it's not proven though. What do you mean? Is there's pictures no, just, of the police? I'm playing because um, people. Are no, yeah, like, no, there, there. It's there's okay. pictures of police doing. Okay, it, yeah. okay. Why? Videos of police in back alleys I heard... unloading bricks what? onto a skid. They they're encouraging people to use bricks in the protest so that they have a reason to like uh, arrest. But them. I thought I thought so. I saw the brick pictures, but I thought it was like. You know, a couple of weeks ago when they were saying how, like, yo, don't show up to the protest because it's, like, the Montreal gangs mm-hmm. that were mm-hmm. stirring That's up That's what shit. I thought. I thought I thought it was, like, anarchist people, yeah. like, trying to stir shit. So, I didn't know it was police. I mean, it could have been police. It could have been them, too. It could be a bun- yeah. bunch of people. It could have been anybody. So, I just wasn't. That's why I was asking. I'm pretty Are you sure, sure it's police? police. I'm pretty sure I saw a picture. We've, of I've seen videos yeah. and pictures yeah. of police literally okay. in, like, alleys and yeah. shit like that. Because, like, those, like, those, like, black block people, yeah. they're called, would do that, too. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Actually, that seems more like up their alley. <laughs> I feel Plant like... giant skids of bricks just so people can pick them up and throw brick yeah. shit. Because most of those, those, ooh, you hear ooh, that? Ooh, yeah. Most of the, those types of people, they just want to destroy property yeah. just to like spread their anti capitalist message. Exactly. Kind of thing. So, exactly. Uh, by the way, Sam Priest on the pod, if you're listening. Yeah, I was just about to say. Yeah. <laughs> if you're <laughs> listening, you just don't move closer to the mic Priest, and didn't say yeah. anything. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Don't kill me. How how are you doing, Sam? Pretty good. I'm um, gonna start back school next Monday, so it's kind of oh, yeah? the last wave. Mm, yeah, true. But it's been good, man. It feels like summer is at its end, which is so weird because I feel like it just started, mm. and it's not the end; it's the middle of summer. It literally, so. just started. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But it'll end soon, like most summer. <laughs> it's gonna fly by. Yeah, it's fucking hot as balls, by the way. Today right was now. a really good day. Even right now, it's a nice it's day. Must, you know, heat warning, but nice day. It was a good day. There was a breeze. That was nice, man. It was nice. Nobody was at my house, so I, like I uh, just chilled outside for a little bit. Mm. Just sat on the porch, you know. Whew. It's nice. I do it. I do that so often now. Just sitting on the porch. Mm. What, do do? what do you do? What do you do on the porch? Sometimes you know I will get high. Sometimes sometimes I watch a YouTube video. Sometimes I listen to a podcast. Yeah. Sometimes I'll just sit there and just look outside, look at look at the weather, you know, the nature. Look at the <laughs> yeah. your neighbors. The <laughs> suburbs. I was getting into yeah. the porch game pretty heavy still, but then we got the Google Nest, so now like yeah. have to, it's a whole process. You got to turn it off. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that's annoying. Yeah, yeah, that's annoying. Yeah. Not that I'm doing, I'm just smoking, but like or yeah. just chilling. But I just don't want, I don't want to. Cam- even though like it would only be my dad watching me if I was on camera. Yeah, it's Google watching me as well. Like I can't it's just lie. Annoying, yeah. And like, so you have an alibi. So yeah, so we just got a Google Nest, and it's like you get a free version where uh, you get to see like up to the last three hours of what's been recorded. Mm -hmm. But if you pay, then you get all the footage. So Google has all the footage. Technically, and I'm pretty sure even when I go into the app and turn off the camera, they probably still have the footage of it on. You know, so it's like it's it's a very annoying thing where it's like even if you own the the devices, like you don't have access to like all the surveillance. Yeah, I feel you. Feel you on that for sure, but you know, yeah, we, we were talking earlier about like what what do you say is something like twenty four yeah, hours. Yeah, that's uh, there's yeah. like I can't remember the exact numbers. Probably yeah. twenty four hours, but it's a lot of hours. Yeah, but uh, the average person has like twenty four hours worth of just footage of you. It's probably going up exists. every every day. Yeah, every, and that goes up all the time. Probably yeah. Yeah, that's probably like that. Yeah, that's probably like twenty four hours of footage of you know when you know what we've had up to now mm-hmm. it's just been like security cameras and yeah it's just you stuff like that but you're in a drive through you're walking it, yeah, by a store think about now like if you if you just walk down a residential street i'm pretty sure like houses more than 50 percent of people have like some yeah. sort of security camera yeah or i see my neighbors yeah they have cameras yeah we have a camera we used to use it we stopped using it um just because we got lazy <laughs> but damn this guy's letting it off Bro, those are some loud ass fireworks. Yeah, these are right in our ear, um, bro. But imagine they're not actually there. 
like imagine not <laughs> there's just, imagine just, not, just a, a big there. boom box. Not seeing the most beautiful uh, yeah, light in your the most life. beautiful display of fire. Seeing darkness. Yeah. That's crazy. Boom. Hopefully not blowing out people's ears. Um, Fuck him. <laughs> what was I gonna say? I was gonna say. Oh, does that bother you that we're on camera like so much? It our used to, but not anymore. Cause I'm just like, well, fuck. What am I gonna do at this point? Yeah, yeah. It's there. I mean, you can't stop it. It's yeah, it's fun. Yeah, like it. it's yeah. It, like we've encountered people who have been like, um, selective or picky about you know who, where they get seen on camera or like yeah. how much footage is available of them or you know even people when they're like yeah my instagram is on private it's like bro you know how much fucking footage or pictures exist of you online even if you don't have an instagram or a facebook you you could have no social media there are still pictures of you online and it's worse if you don't have social media because you can't track them you know Mm -hmm. like you don't know where you exist you know and if you're not i mean if you're you're somebody who has nothing to hide then it's, it's fine but like there are things that could tie you to, <laughs> yeah, you know, <laughs> exactly. It's just people. It's it's when people don't uh, aren't aware of what age we're living in right now, where there is so much mm-hmm. surveillance and footage that's just available. Mm-hmm. And you'll always, you'll know uh, what you wish was hidden until it comes back yeah. to bite you. Yeah, yeah. I was just like, have you guys seen the movie, uh, the Snowden movie? Yeah, that shit. That shit scares me more. Like how much? I mean, it's in more in America, but it, it's happening here. How yeah. much they can spy on you? Exactly. Imagine through turning phones on webcams, and cameras, and and all these things they can access. Looking at man's girls through cameras without even telling you, and they're, they don't crazy. have to tell you. <laughs> one of the facial recognition, one of the biggest facial recognition companies in China is named Skynet. After then, the guy Jeez. who founded it, how you gonna do that? Was a big fan of the Terminator, and Ugh. he's like, "I'm gonna name this Skynet, but it's gonna be the good version." <laughs> okay. How is, how reassuring is that when a man tells you <laughs> that he's gonna name a movie? He's gonna name his company after a, a and the whole thing's about the future. Yeah, about the worst future possible. Jesus about robots prayers. taking basically surveilling and taking over the world. And he said, "No, we're gonna we're gonna call it this, but it's gonna be a good version of it, though." Mm-hmm. It's like no, Imagine we're gonna, playing games. Yeah. yeah, let's make a. Uh, uh, I can't even think of a, another. But it's, yeah, let's let's make a. a I want to I want to make Voldemort, but I want to be a good version of Voldemort. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like it's meant to be evil. I want yeah. you. Yeah, like, <laughs> exactly. That's like stupid. That's like good. Like I'm gonna make a Nazi party, but it's gonna be the good Nazi party. Yeah, yeah. we're gonna do it exactly. Again. Yeah, the right way. The right yeah, way. Yeah, we were we were actually just talking about <laughs> we were just talking that's, about fascism today, so like earlier today, and we were like, why you know why was that a thing and why was it so popping? That was so popping. Yeah, yeah. for a couple decades. Yeah, it would literally be why. like somebody popping up and being like, yo, I want to make the new Nazi party, but it, I want to make it like, you know, the good version of that. Though. I think, I don't know the history of fascism, but not uh, in Germany started it for sure. Inspired a lot of leaders to come up in Europe. And you can say the same for the communist side in, in Asia and, and uh, Eastern Europe. Mm-hmm. So, I don't know, it's just influence from like yeah. strong leaders like Stalin and, and Hitler. Then come other people come up. Facts. Yeah. Facts. I guess. I I'm ripped right now. Yeah. I can tell. I can tell. <laughs> well, well, yeah. So the yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Wait. I mean the other yeah the other Go part on. too is like yeah like communism spread because of people like Stalin but there was like you know there's the whole philosophy of it that was developed by people like Marx. And, Marx. Yeah, it's uh, based on Marxism and and uh, yeah and, and other things uh, like that. Uh, yeah. Whereas like if you were to read that like it it makes sense but then it's like when you we're actually in a very good place in history where you can see how all of these things started and failed and it's like yeah you can understand why something like communism would just turn into another form of fascism because it's like oh yeah all the people will have power and it's like but you're still giving the power to some one person yeah so it's like they weren't fully ap- applying what somebody like marx was saying but it was, still was communism so it's like those things don't work and like we're, i think right now where we are we're living in a place where we can see the full extent of how capitalism breeds like you know competitiveness and not even just competitiveness but violence and everything that's going on everything that's wrong with our society right now is a product of the bad effects of capitalism and communism doesn't work either in the way that it has happened and fascism was the one thing that we were thinking about where it's like why was that even a thing that people accepted but it's like if you're thinking about the way the world is right now i mean i guess we wouldn't understand it because you look at somebody like Trump and it's like he does kind of represent that fascist ideal and that is what capitalism can breed but 
I don't know, like, it does it does make sense in a way because you can see something like communism and be like, okay, yeah, when you have everybody thinks they're equal, it, and then you don't have like that hierarchy. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That is what. That's why fascism and communism are on like the opposite spectrums. But yeah, I don't know. Did um, at the end of the day, though, it's the question of whether your society is going to be a happy society, yeah. living on a fascist yeah, side or the day. communist side. Exactly. And realistically, just no country has ever been ha- fully happy with any of any of. Anything. I don't. Yeah. I can't. I mean, there's there's countries like Sweden that are happiness levels. Yeah, and then they locked up ASAP Rocky. Outrageously higher than other. Co- <laughs> yeah. And then they Sorry, locked up ASAP Rocky. And then they locked up ASAP Rocky. Uh, and we're hearing about men chucking <laughs> shit on the walls. <laughs> that whole and that beating <laughs> off in front of him. <laughs> that whole ordeal. <laughs> By the way, that was one of the first topics we ever talked about on this show. They, yeah, they ASAP Rocky. Like the shit. first episode. Yeah, I think that's the first episode. Um, but. Uh, yeah, that one was just a fucking interesting yeah. event. But uh. <laughs> chucking shit at the wall <laughs> and beating <laughs> off. <laughs> I also Midsummer. Oh have yeah, you watched, have you watched Midsummer? No, bro. Yeah, I'm 30 minutes into it. I'm about to go finish it. Mids- oh yeah, yeah. Yo, yeah, yeah. Midsummer is serious. Bro. It's crazy. It's yeah, crazy, I, yeah. I, 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 I got to the part where it started getting crazy, and I was like, okay, I need to stop. Actually, yo, once you get to the crazy part. Y- that's the rest of the movie, basically. Like, yeah, it's just yeah, crazy yeah, after yeah. that. Yeah. Mm, yeah. No, like, you, you get it. Like, it's just like, okay, yeah. It's not, it's yeah. never gonna, it's after, like, that first part, you're just like, oh, okay, yeah. Like, this is the whole movie now. But it's yeah. beautiful. Like, yeah. No, that's, I, I was it's, feeling yeah, it, and thing, I was like, yeah. okay, I need to save this for another, like, yeah. yeah. right now is not the time. Right now. I was gonna watch it with Teresa, but I'm just like, she can't handle this. So. Yeah. <laughs> she can't handle this. So. This will torture her mind. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you need somebody who's, it's funny we're talking about desensitization, but you kind of need some. Yeah. You, you need to watch it with you. I w- and I want to watch it with somebody, but I'm just like, <sighs> yeah. Because when watch, I finished I watching, watch I'm it like, I didn't even take away anything gruesome about it because that's what I. That was my. Uh, yeah. What is it about? Uh, Sorry, I, I don't even know what you're talking about. It's just. I'll be it's uh. It's just a. Um, what's the easiest way? To, it's just a. Pe- it's like some college kids who go to this. Uh, festival. Yeah, this festival in Sweden. One right. one of the friends is a has relatives in sweden so they go to this like swedish cultural traditional festival and in this for the summer and just learn about their culture yeah (laughs) yeah true true real shit where's the fucked up part about it exactly the the learning the the culture the learning about yeah yeah Yeah. interesting that's the best way we could explain it without spoiling it and yeah the thing yeah the thing with it is like usually with other movies is uh you know and the last half an hour, you'll get the big climax. But this one, like half an hour in, you get that big peak, and then you're like, "Oh, okay, this is the world we're in now." Yeah. But then even like before that, like if somebody spoiled the movie for you, you'd be like, "Oh, this is like a horror movie or like a fucked up movie yeah. or whatever." So yeah. you're kind of like going into it with that, which is what I went to. So that's why I wasn't like as put off by I just it. Burped right into I the think, mic. I know. <laughs> My I bad. That at the time. It was fine. <laughs> But, like, yeah, I think if you were to, like, go into it, like, fresh, you might be thrown off by it. Yeah. But, like, if you know that it's, like, a horror movie or whatever, it's, like... And it's... But that's the thing. It's it's not even really a horror movie. Yeah, it's not really a horror movie. No, yeah. You know, it's... it's, It just fucks with your head. Yeah. It just fucks with your head. That's what I was going to say, like, psychological thriller, but that's not even it. Yeah. It's, like, probably more of that. And, again, it's it's the same people that did uh, Hereditary. It's a cult movie. That's probably the best way to explain it. I think cult... I think the cult genre is a very... It kind of... It honestly reminds me of... And this is dumb. It reminds me of what is it? Which paranormal activity was it? The third one or the fourth one? Um, the one that we saw. Ones, the one that we saw in theaters. Um, just because it's Three. like, yeah, it's just more. That's when you start learning more about the actual cult and the the thing, the shit that they started to believe in. Yeah. So yeah, yeah, it's a really good movie. You should check it out. It's called Midsummer. Yeah. yeah. Midsummer. Check, check out that and Hereditary. If you check it out. Hereditary. I saw Hereditary. Oh, you did? Yeah, yeah, I saw Hereditary. Yeah, it was Same okay. Director, right? Yeah. Yeah. It was okay. Hereditary was good. It's again. It's one of. The, it's not scary. It's not supposed to be scary. See, that's the thing too. Is like there was a time where I didn't hear. I didn't watch either of those. And people who watch Hereditary were like, watch Midsummer. Yeah, first. I see the vice versa. Yeah. Yeah. So Midsummer is probably the better movie, but Hereditary is like more. I would say entertaining. Hmm. Mm. I haven't watched Her- Hereditary yet. So Hereditary is the one you could watch with anybody. Okay. Midsummer, you have to be. Mm. At a certain level, you gotta be on a level. Yeah, yeah, yeah you gotta yeah, be, yeah. you know, you gotta be on a level to appreciate it. Okay, yeah. that's an interesting thing. Like, you know, I think we've we've I, I've I've talked about this before, though. But like, do you think that there are movies that you can only watch by yourself, and then yeah. there are movies that so like the thing for me is like I think it's only comedy and like horror movies that you can watch in groups. Where and then like you know 
the Oscar nominated movies or like the critically mm-hmm. acclaimed movies. I feel like you can't watch those with everybody. Or yeah. Like, you know, a group of friends. Maybe yeah. like a couple people. Like, yeah, if I trust you. Yeah. yeah. I feel like I, I wouldn't I would mind watching Parasite. Actually, I've watched Parasite multiple times with mm. like bigger groups and it works well. Really? Yeah. Par- but, yeah. but Parasite's kind of like, I think it would be like fringe between, like I'm talking like you would watch like, uh, what's, um, I'm trying to think of like you know like a critically like yeah you can't watch like an uh, Alfonso Cuarón like yeah exactly yeah. Thing. like yeah, yeah, yeah. I wouldn't watch like I wouldn't even yeah. watch like a Scarface with a group of people the Scarface mm-hmm. you could throw on like, I can I can watch it with yeah. like yeah, us yeah, 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 like yeah, this is it this is as big yeah, as it gets yeah. you know what I mean yeah like a couple of your mans yeah I can't do that with like oh yeah it's awesome movie everybody's here yeah no yeah because you gotta get into it yeah, yeah it's just gotta be. You have to be one with the movie. If there's other, that's why I watch there, like just... that's why I watch a lot of those movies, like Scarface, Godfather. I just watch them alone, mm-hmm. so I could just experience it myself and like really be in it. Yeah, yeah I agree. I rather watch shows by myself too. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I like yeah. I like watching unless it's reality shows. Then I'll watch that with somebody. Those are I feel like that's more that's more yeah. of a social type of thing. Yeah, you could talk about it. Like, yeah, while watching it, and you're not gonna like lose too much info. Yeah. Well, that's part of the fun is like talking about it. I exactly. Guess, yeah. yeah. Maybe that's what because movies. Yeah, maybe movies like condense so much information. You can't really like. Mm-hmm. You gotta just be paying attention. You can't be like paying attention to somebody else, mm-hmm. right? Whereas TV shows are like more longer played. Yeah, like you know that stupid show, fucking too hot to handle on Netflix. No. No, it's it's kind of dumb, but oh, like, oh, I think I know, I know what you're talking about. It's like they put a bunch of hot people and they can't fuck, basically. Oh, that's dumb. Yeah, so that's the challenge, bro. Like they put it's like the real world, but like you're not allowed to fuck. That's annoying. So and then they lose money because there's a giant pot. If they fuck. Yeah, if they fuck, it's like cost them like ten grand or something. That's shit. right. Then I'd fuck. What, they don't even get eliminated. They just nah, lose they money? just keep losing money as a oh, group. Okay, fine. What? Yeah, but I'm crushing. What? Yeah, but there's like a couple baddies, and the guys just like, yo, I don't give shit. <laughs> I'll <laughs> like, take that. I'll, hit, I'll, lo- I'll lose a ten. It's, it's it's like you're gonna you you're gonna watch the trailer and think it's so dumb, but then it's kind of enjoyable for some I reason. I know what you mean. It's like uh, what I watched was that it? with my girl. Uh, so. Love is blind. Like love, love is blind. blind. Love, love is blind is probably more like yeah. a little more yeah. common sense with that one. But that one is. I mean, uh, yeah, it was technically was like, good. That like, was actually yeah. that was better. Yeah, it was I watched both. Good. I won't disrespect any show because I know shit like that obviously has. If you watch it, like yeah, you know, like people like love to you know roast something like Keeping Up with the Kardashians. But I'm like, I've watched a couple episodes. Yeah. If you, Turn that shit on. You'll get. It, you'll, you'll be. Get in. I. I'm not gonna. Yeah. I love. Wa- might, I yeah. love <laughs> watching Love and Hip Hop New <laughs> <Yeah>. York, bro. <laughs> like as because that's a, that's the best thing about those shows is like you don't need to watch the whole series. Yeah. You can throw on you can any just toss it in. Yeah. And they they'll hook you in that episode because exactly. that's all those shows are designed to do exactly. is like. Get, and if you watch those shows too, it's like so much of the show is uh, telling you what's coming up after the commercial or whatever. It's like coming up this 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 and this and it's like yo bro you could have just like done it you didn't, you, you didn't need to tell me you didn't need to spend 10 minutes telling me what's coming up exactly when um, it's coming up i love yeah. the hills though yeah the hills was my shit i was watching yeah. the hills a lot of the time but now i love me some love and hip-hop new york <laughs> new york specifically that one's a great one yeah i mean those shows exist for a reason you know um yeah. they're the problem is there are those shows that get like bare funding and they're kind of like riding off the. Sounds <laughs> like fucking, fucking fairies. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, dude! This is lit. We That's literally what it's gonna sound like when dragons. Uh, Bro, uh, yeah. The, when China sh- finally unveils that they've been working on dragons. <laughs> <laughs> and they unleash them on the world, bro. That's what it's gonna sound like. <laughs> Can you imagine if somebody f- figures out dragons? I don't know what, but China's. Been, like, I genuinely believe dragons had to exist. About at guns, some point. like that's the end all. Like, yo, I mean, look at a pterodactyl. Don't know about dragons, right? <laughs> that's yeah. kind of close to a dragon. Pterodactyls are basically. So you think dragons. of a pterodactyl? It's like a mini dragon. They just gonna spit fire. They don't do the fire. Like, like I'm down with a dragon that doesn't do the, do the fire. Boy, you know? Where that's did the this... thing is like, why did that? Why, yeah, why did that like exist? Like, why well, did people are like, yo, that's they, they develop fire in their belly and it comes out their mouth? Who like, thought of that? But that's yeah. what I was gonna question. Where where did the? I mean, we could look it up, I guess. Like the history of dragons and kind of from storytelling like, and yeah, stuff. Yeah, like yeah, I haven't looked up the full thing, but I'm pretty sure like the Chinese, the European, um, whatever, Japanese. Who else? Dragons. The, you know those the main mm-hmm. ones they all kind of existed independently like everybody kind of came up with dragons 
Yeah, that's kind of scary, on their man. Own, you know, <laughs> I'm convinced someone saw like, something like it. Like, why the like fuck it? did everybody come up with this reptile with wings that breathes fire? You know. Yeah, and this is before the idea of large reptiles was even a thing. Yeah. Because they didn't know dinosaurs. They didn't know dinosaurs. They didn't know about the dinosaurs. So someone knew something or saw something. <laughs> That's there's, what I'm there's Komodo, there's Komodo dragons, which we've all True. seen, which are which are sick too. The humans, but not they even spit just... acid. They don't spit fire, bro. Like, <laughs> yeah, but the Europeans never went to the Galapagos Islands. Exactly. They yeah. don't fucking know those animals either, so they didn't find those. Th- I mean, you could look it up probably when they were discovered. But maybe like everyone has reptiles, though, right? So maybe like they just little, took a reptile and like a made little it gecko. <laughs> the same way, like. You know, they had dragons, but they had other shit, too. They had, like, chimeras and stuff. True, true. Chimera, okay. What is a chimera? I don't fucking know. Chimera is, like, a three-headed animal or something, or... Okay. Because I've oh. seen chimeras. Or like a li- it's, like, a lion. It's a lion like a head, right? But I've always been, like, yeah, what is lion it? Like, body? it's always a mix of something, right? Yeah, I think a chimera is, like, a lion head or, like, a lion... Yeah, like, a lion head with, like, a, a deer body or something. and wing. It's, like, a three... Yeah, I'm looking trios. that shit up right now. I was actually, I was so there's a lot in like there Hindu, it is. There's a lot of Hindu mythology where there's like a lot of like nine. Jeez, I got licked. Yeah. Jeez. I'm sorry. Yeah. There's All like right, a dude. lot of animals that like combine like nine different creatures and three different creatures. And there's a whole Wikipedia page on it, like different hybrid animals, yeah. like lion mythology head. and stuff. But then there is also lion head. Yeah, there's also like hybrid animals that exist in real life, like. <laughs> I think, uh, <laughs> What's happening? <laughs> oh <my> God. <laughs> Sorry, continue. Uh, yeah, there's yeah, there's uh Russia fat, bro. Yo, shut up, yo. Apparently, um, <laughs> grizzly and polar bear hybrids exist in wild. Like apparently really? Yeah, yeah I think I've, I've heard of the wild. Yeah. What? Yeah. What are they got? Happy? Yeah. And That's then wild. some of those other ones, not not ligers, not like the lion jaguars but like some of the other ones like the cat the big cats apparently those shits happen in the wild it's fucking eh yeah they just fucking that's lit the thing with yeah grizzly bears and polar bears I think they their descendants are pretty not the They're thing with polar close. bears is the only difference is that it's the bears that stayed in the arctic and, and they turned away the ones, yeah, yeah that's the grizzly really bears is. are the ones that stayed a little south so they just adapted with the yeah the dicks are compatible still Talks podcast Holy. episode forty. We're lit. Yeah, that was two podcast. Really. Most lit. You know, with two takes. We're talking, <laughs> it's not getting to speak. And yeah. our mics weren't even recording, bro. Like, what the fuck? Yeah, outdoor pod. We're not used to this. Yeah. Out, out in the nature. But we might need to get used to this for the summer at least. Yeah, this is nice, yo. Yeah. I don't it is mind nice. this, it is man. Nice. I don't mind this at all. Um, let's Holy. get to this whole. <laughs> <laughs> bro, there's, Holy. there's yo, there's giant June bugs flying around. Oh, oh, bro. Whoa, 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 chill, <laughs> yo. Yo, those things, uh... That shit can smack me. Yo, those things flight paths, yo, or... Unpredictable, Drag. yo. <laughs> That's crazy. I remember I worked with this girl. She's like, yo, I'm afraid of birds, yo. <laughs> and I'm like, I'm like, why? She's like, they're just so unpredictable. And I'm like, oh, <laughs> shit. I'm like, yo, shit. <laughs> bro, like, it's, because, it's because it's literally blind, bro. It can't, it can't see. Holy, it's that's, like, that's, a, that's a moth, bro. Uh, anyways, anyways, what were we saying? Um, let's talk about this pitch contest still. Yes, it's time. This is oh. a pretty sick story. Sanford's gonna tell the most of it. I'm like, I, I, you depressing. know what? I was thinking about it. I was like, I don't remember a lot of it. Good. I, was, I want you to tell it from your perspective. From my perspective. Yes. Okay. Well, the start of everything was just. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. This is the pitch contest story, people. Mm-hmm. This is probably what our most. This is the. Uh, this is the first. Traumatic. I want to say first, but but like the first the real. This is the beginning and end of uh, Triangle and Seed. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> if you think about it, right? <laughs> which is crazy. It's like, definitely killed, the end. Yeah. Though. It was it was definitely the end. We're trying to bring that back, low key. Yeah, yeah. Don't worry. It's coming but, um, back. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, like that was a. We had a thing, and this pitch contest kind of yeah. just. You know, yeah, we lost I'll, I'll, all give the, I'll give the preface. Yeah, no, like, so I think, yeah, for the past, like, year, a couple, a couple months at least, I've really been, every time I think about, you know, what we've been doing, I'm like, yo, you know, you know, why haven't we taken any L's? Like, why are we so lucky with things? You know, why are we getting, <laughs> yeah, why are we getting this, uh, you know, Nuit Blanche? Why are we getting this UTSC thing? Like, all yeah. these, and I'm like, 
wait, no. Like, this is a very new feeling that we have had. Like, we've yes. very much been used to taking L's yeah. on the reg. On the reg. For no reason. For, for no reason. We, yeah. Uh, and um, basically, the way that the story ends, because it's not like it's a twist or anything. The way the story ends is we were told that we were so good that we didn't get money. <laughs> yes. That's crazy. <laughs> they told us we'd That's be crazy. fine without it. And by the way, even we, though we were there, and we were 22 years old and broke, just as broke as we are now, yeah. it, even broker. Yeah, than we were now. We're, yeah, yeah. So, I'm still pretty broke. But. Yeah, but we were like, imagine. Yeah, like, I was. I'm not as broke yeah. as I was. Yeah, exactly. That's facts. But we were like broke, broke back then, and uh, we didn't get five thousand dollars. Yeah. <laughs> even though we busted our ass yeah. for it, we had the okay. You know what? So no, let I me mean, get, let me get it's actually the single handedly the reason why when men come up with ideas like, yo, like, yo, yo, we should print shirts and do. Th-. I'm like, no, no, yeah, nah, nah. No, yeah no. <laughs> no, I'm not. Don't doing make it. a shirt, <laughs> don't make any business yo, cards. Need cards. No, <laughs> traumatized. Show up, cards. wake up, and show up. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. But, um, yeah, Sam Freeth, you can, I'll, can, tr- okay, I'll, tr- I'll can give it a go. Try but you, guys, us. you guys can jump in. Yeah, we'll hop in. 20, it was 22, so it was five years ago? It was twenty. It was October 2015, yeah. Oh, I remember it to the shit. date. Yeah, I tried to forget that. I, yeah, I left it. I remember I left the it. day if I... If I can I remember really the time to, we yeah. lost. <laughs> I, can oh. remember the whole, I can remember the subway ride. Yeah. Oh, I'll never forget the subway ride. <laughs> uh, you're jumping ahead. You're jumping the ahead, subway yeah. ride was as empty as COVID. <laughs> so <it's, laughs> okay, yeah, we, we're jumping ahead. Basically, 22, I guess... I guess we. Were, I wasn't in school. I maybe just finished school. Yeah, that's true. We were all, so we were all kind of. Um, I was in school. We were. We were all. Yeah, just, you were at Centennial. But like, no, even just artistically, we were all just like, uh, we're, we'll. So the, at the beginnings. Yeah, we were yeah. just at the beginning. Like, yeah. so I mean, like I didn't have much of an artistic career. Uh, Sampri just. I shot Stay for Love Stay for when love. we were 20, yeah, 21. Yeah, you did the thesis. Yeah. Uh, so, you, so Sanford, ju- he just finished school, and his final, one of his final projects was like a thesis documentary that we had worked on uh, throughout 2014 and 15, which was just like uh, this. It was just archival footage of yeah. shit that we talked, and then he put it together in a way that was kind of meaningful to our, our, our lives at that point. And the year before that, the man was in Ireland. And, yeah, uh, facts. <laughs> the Ireland weird. Chronicles. The Ireland so, Chronicles. Yeah, so if you think about it, it's like we had nothing started, really, except except everything. We had everything started, but we didn't have any idea about like yeah. what was going on, really. Yeah, yeah. There That's, was music. Yeah. There was music. That was probably the furthest ahead we were. Like, like I think we had enough faith in our work at that point because we'd all done at least one thing yeah. that we were yeah. like really proud of. Yeah. And that was like I think objectively looking back was good. Like I still think Stay for Love is like one of the better things I've done. Mm-hmm. Wow. Um, but yeah, yeah I, I mean Stay for Love is probably one of the best videos that came out in the city at that time. But yeah, at that time. Yeah. Say word, yeah. Jeez. That was among Maybe to this day. I don't know. What year is that? That was among the time where I was like, yo, videos in Toronto are crazy. Remember right? the yeah. the first time yeah. I saw Stay for Love, uh, Zach showed it to me. I didn't know you when yeah. I first saw it. He's just like, yo, like this guy who. Just Jamal, picked up a camera. That yeah. Jamal knows. He, he was telling me how this guy who just picked up a camera <laughs> shot this. And I was like, fucking first or second year. Yeah. And uh, I'm like, shit, that's pretty good. That's not bad for someone. <laughs> like, he must, <laughs> have, he must have done a lot of research before and figured I it did. out. So. Yeah, that's what he did. And then I just did it. I was like, shit, that's good. I'm like, yeah, he can go somewhere for sure. And that's before I knew you. And then I, I later met you probably like a couple months. I after remember that. first meeting you, Ian. You that went to you came before, to my basement. That was probably before. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. Sanford yeah. knew Zach very well. Right? Yeah, I yeah, didn't know yeah. Zach. Yeah, I don't well. think yeah. you knew Zach very well either. I didn't well even either. know Zach that well either because we we only worked on like a video like a the for the birds or whatever before that. Yeah, and, and then fucking um yeah, the fucking uh oh circle strong yeah, yeah circle strong that's yeah. a classic. He, <laughs> what was that video he made you do where you were throwing rocks at Gates Gully? Oh, that was uh for. It was for it was for Wave technically. It was for the song Wave. Oh yeah. Just for it was like he just he just did a, yeah, like a separate yeah. documentary. That was like early on. Yeah, I remember that. I remember yeah. that. We also shot at Gates Gully exactly. for yeah. 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 Exactly. for this story. Yeah. Shit. Do you you remember that? I forgot about yeah, that. Yeah, I just remember that too. Holy. Sh- Let's go okay. Back onto it. So basically, so as Kevin said, like this was the start of us kind of considering ourselves, or considering what an artistic career might look like. 
so I remember I was just like I kind of knew a little bit about grants like I knew they were a thing that no that was like I, I remember like I found out about grants basically around the same time as you found out because I remember like I learned about it in school and I'm like yo you know these things called grants and you're like yo I literally and you're like yo I literally just found out about this shit too and I'm like yo like we could have been making money yeah because yeah. the thing about grants is like at that point we knew we we knew that our artistic work wasn't there but we knew that we would be able we had the writing finesse for it and lit- uh, that so uh i'm talking about october 2015 i applied for a grant in like june 2015 and that was the first grant i got so it was like we knew that we could get it even though like at that time i didn't know i could get it but and then that wait was- you got you you had had you got the tac at that point already no i didn't but you'd applied i applied oh. so it's like i knew about grants and it's like you knew about grants oh, too and it's shit. like we knew that we were in that world yeah. or like but we just didn't we didn't know that we could like conquer it yet yeah you know oh. yeah wow yeah. Yeah. So basically, I found, I found like the art reach, like community arts grants, and obviously they have they have two streams. But long story short, they have like a pitch stream every year, where you can get five thousand dollars to just like pitch your idea. And I remember clicking the application, and it was like, it was gonna be due in like two days, or and it was the extended deadline. So I knew no one had applied. I was like, yo, yo, Kevin, we could do this. Like, you just make up an idea and do it. Mm-hmm. And which we're still doing. Yeah, which we're still doing. <laughs> it's basically the same which is thing. still happening. Yeah. And it was like a it was like a a Google like survey or something. Like some old Google survey where it was just like I'm like, yo, this does not look legit whatsoever. Yeah. Like there's no way anyone who's serious is applying for this. So I was like, five thousand dollars, we could do this. I remember just sitting down in Kevin's basement and like coming up with this idea because at that time I was doing some research at Sunnybrook in like virtual reality stuff so I knew that was a finesse already like okay yeah. we can just say that we're going to start this like new media production company and I don't know I don't know how much I even believed it at that time I was like yo mans could do this see, like we could problem. do see, it yeah see like like when we when we talk about like things that we we finesse like we're talking our ass and like we're talking shit like even when I when I say like you know when I first started writing grants I'm like yeah I was talking out of my ass but it's like the first grant that I wrote is probably so true to like what I'm doing right now yeah exactly so it's like it's so hard to say that we were talking out of our ass it's kind of we we're just more like plotting. I feel like we just didn't fully understand we were it ourselves the, so we, we were plotting like, the course more than yeah. we were talking nonsense yeah but the the idea that we came up for this this grant seemed like it was complete bullshit it seemed like we were just gonna take this five thousand <laughs> and, and just never uh, do any of the ideas that we yeah. pitched for the next at least five years. Yeah, you know, or yeah. ten years, or or like it seemed like maybe this is like a, a I don't know a twenty I don't know what we thought, but it just didn't seem feasible that we would ever be able to pull off these ideas. Yeah, we just wanted the quick bag. <laughs> that's why we lost. Technically, that <laughs> that's why we lost. Why we lost. No, that's not why we lost. Yeah. That's how, no, no, it's because you were too good, man. Yeah, yeah we yeah. lost because we were too it. good. That's yeah. the same, guys. That's Listen, the same. these guys could have got. They were applying for a grant where the people told them they were too good for the grant. <laughs> <laughs> Go yeah. get the bag yourself. No, but this, like, see, this, is, see, this is an important point now because uh, where we are artistically, um, you know, we we've been making a career getting uh, getting those like five thousand dollar grants, like the basic ones. Mm-hmm. Yeah. For other things, not the one that we. Yeah, that we're talking about right now because that's the end of the story. We didn't get it, but, <laughs> <laughs> but like when I when I write grants now, five thousand dollar grants for music, I'm like, yo, I'm too advanced. Yeah, right. Whereas the first grant I wrote five years ago, I'm like, I'm too underqualified. Whereas now I'm like, I'm too overqualified. So it's mm-hmm. like, uh, but the only difference is is the time that passed, right? That yeah. allowed me to get the experience to become too overqualified. Yeah. So it's like, you just kind of kind of talk about like what you want to do if you're early and then if you're late you just got to kind of take the money if you still need it or move on to the other grants right isn't that kind of fucked up when you say you're overqualified because like when you when when you've hit that level of saying you're overqualified when you think you made it by then yeah so then when yeah. you're overqualified for a grant then what's the next step but i, I can <laughs> that's what I, that's why the, triangle the, 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 yeah, no, the, the same thing about us is like no. i think like every one of us right now if we were to talk to any random person who doesn't know us but knows our work they would think that we're, we're established up. yeah people think i'm up yeah people are like yo Jam-. again like i i have worked with Black people God? i work with Black people and i have too? worked with people that are like 
They're like, bro, I just want to be like you. Yeah. Like, I just wish, like, you, like, your work ethic is. Enough. I'm like, yo, bro. <laughs> <laughs> All I can say is thank you, but in my head I'm like, yo, like, you don't know that I edited that in, like a night before it was due, or like this. It just looks good, you know what I yeah, mean? Like exactly, that's yeah. what it is. But that's the whole like creative industry, too. yeah. Like, even some of these We're all guys that it. we think Virgil, are, like, big. But yeah. oh, we'll get into that. Later. <laughs> we'll get into that. Later. <laughs> yeah, we're getting into that. Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. We'll, we'll jump into that. But basically, I think like what I do remember about that time was like being in this kind of gray area yeah. of life. And just wanting to like do something with my boys, we're like, yo, like we already work together creatively. Like, yeah, it would be really cool if we just had this collective mission that actually got money to yeah. do it. You know, and we had this name, Triangle and Seed, which would I think at the time was only applied to. We were applying it to like the music and the film that we were starting to do. Yeah, we were calling ourselves. It's funny, like at the time we were. We were trying to call ourselves like a multi, uh, what would you call it, like a multidisciplinary collective or whatever. Yes, at the time. Uh, because it, it, it made it seem like we, we sounded cool. But like now we actually are all multidisciplinary yeah, exactly. artists and exactly. like I don't like calling myself that because <laughs> it sounds pretentious, right? So it's like it's funny that like, like the difference between like reaching for something and you actually know? Yeah. coming up. And having it and actually being it. Yeah. Exactly. So I guess what happened after that was we put in that application and we like heard back pretty quickly about like, Oh yeah, you're in the next round, like you're in the pitch. Now you have to pitch for the money. And you're with whatever these other you're pitching against these other three groups or whatever. So obviously, like you see them CC in the email, like you do we your research. quick yeah, we research. You're like, yo, yo, this is light. Yo. We have this. Like, yo, what? There's no way. There's we're thinking like we're thinking about ideas for them. Like, yo, that's their idea. Like, what? What's the best thing that they could possibly yeah. say? Like, no. And then we got the list of judges. So it's like Kieda Juma, who's like a, a rapper in the city. Yeah. Um, he's probably like making more bank engineering now, so that's why you don't know about him as much. But who else? Um, Drex Jankar, who's yeah. like Magic Jordan OVO affiliated, yeah. Remix Project affiliated. Yeah. Um, and who was the last? The the dancer, the dancer. Yeah. Uh, Some dancer. She was a dancer. So there's there's the there was, there's one more. There was, uh, Tiff, uh, I can't remember her name. She was the filmmaker. Remember? Yeah. I d- she's the disappeared filmmaker? disappeared yeah. from my memory, boys. <laughs> yeah. You remember her though, right? Like the no. Tiffany something or nope. something like that. No, I sir. think that yeah, I remember there being somebody else, but I didn't. I don't know what. So there's four people on the yeah. on the jury. Yeah, there was four. Oh there man. There was the dancer. There was the Asian filmmaker. Okay. Yeah. And then there was yeah. Ah uh, okay. Yeah. Okay. So we, yeah, you know, it was we were kind of like okay, you know, how do we? How do we finesse? Yeah. How do you, how do we finesse <laughs> them? Like how do we get in their head? Yeah. You know? like, yeah. Like we need to target them. This is yeah. a pitch to them. Yeah. Right. So we need to target them in our pitch. So basically, we had all these crazy ideas like, oh, what if we did this? What if we did that? What if we did this? And we actually ended up doing like all of them. Yeah. So where were some of the ideas? Like I, obviously the business card. Yeah. The business right? card. So, Which we can explain later or now. It's up to you. We, we could jump into I mean, it. Yeah, you can hop on. To, you say yeah. that. Yeah. I mean, it'd, it'd be hard to the, like track like like the chronology of like where these ideas came. That would probably be helpful. But like basically... We took Sanfried's like uh, ability of um, saying that he would be able to get into this like augmented reality and technology to come up with a demo for the for the pitch itself, and then we would say that we could apply this type of new media technology to anything. So we we had like a very solid new uh, augmented reality. Uh, demo prepared with this business card and then we just had a whole bunch of other ideas that we could apply with that same kind of philosophy we just it was probably the wildest ideas like i I, sometimes i still think about those ideas i'm like oh shit we thought about that like five years ago yeah yeah like the the um, yeah motion tracking which we're talking about with the new project right now is like it's literally old news like when i bring up that project when i bring up an idea like that now where i'm like yo motion tracking i'm like oh that shit just sounds old because yeah. we were thinking about this when we were 22 year olds who had no idea yeah, what, we were exactly. th- what we were doing. But like, I've still um, never seen this before. Yeah, we were also thinking about like <laughs> thermal scanning. Like there were a yeah. whole bunch of ideas that we didn't. Oh even, yeah, I like, remember that. One. We didn't the even like sensors. elaborate on. Yeah, but yeah. like basically the ideas we had for the pitch was this this augmented reality idea where you know augmented reality um, as it exists right now is a concept where 
a camera recognizes some sort of recon, uh, recognizable pattern on the business card or with the, the with the programming that Sampreet had basically it tells you to, to find an image that can be easily identified on a camera so like a, a pattern mm-hmm. with a very distinct um, pattern is <laughs> yeah. is, uh, is, yeah. the, is the best thing to use because it's the most recognizable so you you take that and then the camera would recognize it and then you would ultimately have this app that would uh, augment the camera footage that that app is showing and project whatever you, you want, want yeah. to project onto the pattern that it identifies. So we had these business cards where we put this triangle and seed pattern onto it and then when the cam- uh, when the camera and the app would identify that Bonus pattern, that it would mm-hmm. project uh, Keita Juma's video uh, for one of his music videos that he had just released. So when amazing idea, yeah, he it was just released the finesse that on that. It was fucking crazy, and we have a vi- we have a video of it, so you could put it in the podcast if yeah. you want to right now. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's crazy. <laughs> it's and ridiculous. the crazy part is the in his video, it was like a, a stop motion video of carts. Yeah, yeah. So, so we were we thinking ma- about all of that. Yeah. We made the stop vid- ma- motion video wow. of cards show up on the business card yes. when you pull up your. Phone but you're not so. really thinking that deep because you're yeah. dumb. <laughs> but. He, yeah, they didn't go back and were like, you guys understand. What do I know? The video was so, of cards. Uh, during the, so we'll, we'll go back and forth. But like during the pitch, we uh, we showed that uh, live. We, we put that fucking card in front of the judges on the table and like. Interacted put, with the judges. Put the app. Put the, like we had the app on our phone and we put the app and then the app was a camera. And then it detected the, the business card pattern and it showed the video. And we let them like look at that shit. But then we also had the uh like a tested video yeah. yeah and then while this was going on we're like hey like you know this doesn't just need to be for business cards we could apply this technology to let's say ovo and then we looked at drax uh yeah <laughs> that's where he's from Jeez. and we're like yo what if we posted these uh these things all around toronto and uh, when when you had the app you you put your phone to it and it was like a map that showed you uh it showed you a location of a van that was going around Toronto for the secret OVO merch pop-up. Yeah. That's, because that's Drax, crazy. Drax was the merch uh, yeah. leader or whatever. Or whatever. Yeah, you know, he was the merch in man. charge of the merch, yeah. Mm-hmm. We were just giving out yeah, ideas. Hinting, yeah. hinting at them. Yeah, 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 which yeah. Is We want work. <laughs> yeah, no, that's the point. That's the yeah. point. Yeah. Fuck yeah. Y'all are too good, though. <laughs> I just, I, even before we went you into think, the pitch, You think like, if you guys were sick, they would have called you even though you didn't win. But hmm. Mm. Mm. maybe we weren't sick. That's true. <laughs> maybe we, were <laughs> maybe we weren't sick enough because if cool. they knew that we were sick, like where we had the money, they would have been like, yo, you don't, mm. we don't need to give you this five grand. We just need to give you like the work. We just need mm. to give you the call right yeah. now. Mm. You know, that's true. Yeah. I don't know. I tried to talk to Drex before the, yeah. the yeah, pitch. Yeah, yeah. I saw him outside, you know, he's just hiding. He's looking through like some glass window at some artwork in this place, <laughs> in the west end of the city where I'd never been. Oh, I still don't never. even know where that yeah, place is. We haven't even got to that part of the story yet. So, Oof, anyways, I just saw him just by himself. I was coming from the bathroom. I was like, "Yo, like this is our chance." Yo. I just walked up to him. Like, yo, <laughs> this is our chance. <laughs> our chance. Yo, yo, my name is Sam Freed. Like, yo, I'm him. I'm about to pitch to you. Yo, don't worry, I'm not trying to get in your head or anything. But, <laughs> Yo, we're we're sick. We're sick. <laughs> <laughs> All right, yo, cool, man. Show me what you got. I was like, don't worry. But, and we did still. <sighs> yeah, I feel like I'll meet him eventually, like very soon. I'll just be like, yo, one guy. You know, yeah, thank you. You're you're the reason why I'm, you know, negative five thousand on my bank account right now. <laughs> exactly. Jeez. And and possibly more. Possibly and, more. Uh, now we're doing a thing for Nui. You know, yeah, casually. Okay. Casually. Casually. It's okay. But the thing that bo- not bothers me, I shouldn't say, it's just it's just crazy because we really like we really worked hard. No, yeah, okay, that's the, yeah. that's the main so, part. Like, so, despite all the yeah. the, the real, all the finesse that we're talking about, yeah, we actually the, worked we hard. Came up yeah. with, like, we came up with that was probably the most like creative period in terms of like how wild our ideas went because the thing with when we have ideas now, like I'll have crazy ideas, you know, I'll 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 take a a blunt to the face and be like, yo. Yeah, and I'll be like, and then but the, <laughs> but the thing now is instantly I'll be like, this is not possible. So yeah. I'll just I'll store it. But at that time, we we had never been like stopped, you know, in terms of like, no, we won't give you money for this or like 
no, this isn't possible. But the way that we were thinking at in that moment was like, yo, if we get five thousand dollars, we'll do anything. Yeah, yeah. And five thousand dollars was crazy. And like, I was like, you know, in a way, it's true. But like, in a way, it wasn't true because it's like if we got that five thousand dollars, we wouldn't have done any of those things. But like, it opened our minds up, basically. You know? Yeah. And uh, it was just like we like. It, it, it's so weird like yeah like when, when you think about it, it it's like it that's the reason why we think so crazy now but it's also the reason why we hone in our ideas mm-hmm. which, so it helped but mm-hmm. it also like hurt because yeah. maybe our ideas would be crazier now because we would be more like free going but I, I still also like come up with crazy ideas now but i also like um uh, pull myself back immediately whereas at that moment we were just like going crazy because that mm-hmm. was the first time we were like Wait, we're not just uh, rappers. We're not just musicians with a camera in our hands making mm-hmm. music videos. We're a new media company. You yeah. Know? And now, now we're a collective. Like now we're a, <laughs> you mm. know, now we're a production company. Mm-hmm. Now we're a, a community program. So it's it's weird, like how that works. Because at the time we were boxing ourselves in, so that was the first time that we box ourselves out. You know. I think the key that that might have taught us is just that, like. You know, at that time, because you, you you see it so much in young artists where like they have the biggest craziest ideas, and I could just ask like, yo, how are you gonna pull that yeah, off? And it yeah, just yeah. F- totally falls apart. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Not to say like at that time like we we made the idea happen to show yeah, them that we're not crazy, yeah. but I think the key in like is our how, finesse how, now yeah. is like yeah. you you know when you, when to dial it back yeah. to to give people what they want to hear which mm-hmm. is useful yeah it's a, it's that's yeah. that's the real skill yeah. it's not being able <laughs> anyone could come up with amazing exactly. big ideas yeah you yeah. can come up with anything yeah. but you have to be realistic and that's the thing that i think that like yeah. especially this year that i've realized is like so many of the ideas that i've thrown out where i'm like yo that shit's crazy I, we've already thought about it. Yeah. Or like yeah. it's already been thrown out it's just like oh wait now this is now this is the time to use it because we have the facilities to do it mm-hmm. right so yeah that's the thing is like you can throw out crazy ideas but it's like you got to know like what you're actually capable of. yeah mm-hmm. yeah yeah, yeah all in that in that it, we had like a one week turnaround we turned around the business cards mm-hmm. like we got we designed the business cards we got them printed i remember going to pick them up and the guy was like yo like these are sick like i have <laughs> Like, you guys are the guys who made this? Like, <laughs> yo, I just spent the whole morning trying to cut these straight because usually I don't give a fuck. Yeah, like, he's like, I actually, wa- I he's like, I actually wanted to me. take care of these like, cards. Like, he straight up told me, like, wow. yo, like, I've been focusing on getting these cuts That's right because these are crazy. Yo, I remember I remember staring at those shits for a while. at least a good five, ten minutes. Yeah, man. Being like, yo, this shit's hard. Like, yeah, bro. <laughs> Man's made a whole PowerPoint Shout presentation. Blitz, Blitz the whole PowerPoint. PowerPoint. We uh, memorized the whole... A whole like script. Yes, yeah. script. Mans we were, were pulling up to like Centennial. I'm skipping class. You, you guys, yeah, you <laughs> bro. Guys, we we're recording so ourselves right. and yeah. watching the video back. Yeah. Yo, yo. I think no. you should say that faster. No. Oh, so like. yeah. So remember, it was it was a five minute. We we were limited to a five minute presentation. Yeah. We had a trial run. Remember where we went to the judges uh, beforehand yeah. at 401 Richmond, and um, I think the day before that it was like we just finished the script and it was probably like whatever seven or eight minutes. Yeah, yeah. Because it was, you know, obviously we have way more ideas and shit to talk about. So we spent more time uh, editing that script to make it five minutes than we did coming up with all the ideas that we came up with. So we came up with like ten ideas, five or ten ideas, and we had to cut it down to like, okay, what are the three that we actually want to say in this speech? And we went to them. And we already had that uh, script memorized. And then I don't remember what exactly happened in that conversation, but they basically said, yo, this shit's crazy. They said it's crazy, but just shorten it. Yeah. (laughs) That's all the time we got, folks. Yeah. Okay, we'll Uh, come back then. We'll see you back after the break. Justin. Fuck, Lost and Talks podcast. So So we're back. Episode 40, we're back. That's crazy. Anyways, just in the whole span of a week, like, we I don't think I've been that productive in my life. Like yo, bro, we, the amount of we finished that pitch at like nine a.m. Really? We 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 started uh, whatever. Like so, how many? How, I don't remember like when we worked on it or like how long we worked on it. But I do remember that whatever we did the last day, we spent a night 
not a night, a night and a morning. Because I remember wait, like I remember we were finishing the the test video oh, where we were doing the AR thing. Yeah. yeah. In my backyard at nine or like eight in or nine morning. a.m. And my mom was like, "Oh yeah, my mom woke up." <laughs> <laughs> what so, the hell are these guys? Yeah. Doing? So like we spent, we put in like a twelve hour whatever on that, and then uh, I remember the day, but like the day of, we went to Centennial. Yeah. To rehearse, just man's before. got shirts printed. Yeah, we got shirts printed. From, from we Arctic, got the yeah. business cards printed. Yeah, we made the video that played at the start of our pitch. Yeah. We made the AR thing. Memorized the Memorized presentation. The whole Two thing. presentations. You know we so made LinkedIn that accounts. Video that yeah, we're we, talking yeah. about. We shot it yeah. the same day. We went down. Yeah, to yeah. Gates we Gully know, that the same, same day. Yeah. Oh, okay. So yeah. we, yeah, uh, Gates Gully is this place by by Rouge. Mm. It's like this really long path that you can take from. It's really nice. Yeah. It's really from, low key. I was there a couple from last the week. top of Kingston or whatever to uh, yeah, to down to the, to the lake and. Uh, we we did a double video where where Zach had to do a video for school and then we we put together the video that we would uh, send for the intro we would have for the intro we basically had this like intro video where it was my song wave mm-hmm. and uh, we were by the where we were by the bluffs it was fucking crazy yo. it's a good <laughs> crazy video. it might have been the hardest it might it might have been the the reason that anybody talked to us after the after the pitch because they're like yo that shit what's, was crazy what's happening with that yeah. track yo yeah, Don't no. Joke. Justin hit me up like two years after. He's like, "Yo, like, where's can I track? Like, what's where's Wave? Like, stop telling me about all these other tracks. Where's Wave? And you know what's crazy is is Wave is Wave is all around us now. Yeah, facts everywhere. We are Wave. It's funny, P. Yeah, people <laughs> over the years, people have been like, "Yo, where's that song? Yo, like, when are you gonna release that song? That song has been released. Gone into Melvin. That's yep. crazy. <laughs> Shut up. That's yo. crazy. Just an into Melvin. Yo. Shut up." Yo. <laughs> <laughs> it's in these firecrackers yeah. Yeah. Okay. but yeah no so we we put like we put at least i don't know a 20 hours of, of work into the pitch like the powerpoint that was the last time i think i've used powerpoint at least or i still use it for it. treatments yeah. yeah 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 sure but um, that's the that's the la- one of the last times I had to do a, a presentation. Yo, yeah. remember when we went to your brother's house and we did the presentation? <laughs> we went to Kevin's yeah, bro's. So Man, don't like talk to we, Kevin's bro like that. We, <laughs> I think he picked up the cards or we picked up the shirts or something. Yeah. And uh, yeah, because my brother's in business and he was there. We're like, yo, like, let's just like, run this pitch by you, you know? Because you're in business, bro. And. Yeah, we went up to his place and the man was lit. <laughs> yeah, shout out to Kevin's bro. Yeah, yeah. And we he's, gave him always he's always supportive. There, bro. He's, he's yeah. always supportive. He's always yeah. been supportive. And he you gave know? us the feedback that we needed. Yeah, yeah. but then yeah. we left the cards there. Yeah. So then the day after, we went to Centennial. We were we were rehearsing. We literally memorized the five minute uh, speech that we all, all the lines that we had to have. <sighs> we crazy. had it down. We were like putting on photo booth and recording us. I to was see our I was skipping posture. classes. Yeah. I was failing. We were recording <laughs> this, you know, like check our posture and shit. I had to tell my teacher, I was like, yo, bro, I have five racks on the line. He's like, <laughs> he's like, you know what? Fuck it, bro. I understand. <laughs> he's like, just get me the assignment by like next week, please. I'm like, I got you, bro. That was Johnny Silver. Johnny oh, Silver. He was my like, God, I, I told him, it. I'm like, I can't make it to your class anymore. Shit. <laughs> like for the rest of this week, I'm not coming to your class. <laughs> and he's like, what the fuck? And I'm like, there's five racks on the line. He's like. Oh, he's yeah. like, okay. You know what? Don't worry. Just give me your shit next week. Please. See, that's the thing. That's the good thing about like art schools. You know, yeah. they they'll understand if you get an opportunity. It's like, okay, yeah, I get it. Because yeah. those teachers are also artists, probably. When they're out there yeah. doing the same shit, yeah, sometimes they know. They know yeah. yeah. So we went to Centennial. We rehearsed, and then we went. Uh, we took the subway from Pape <laughs> to Young, and then we learned that the the speech actually, or we learned that from Pape to Young, it was five minutes. It's a five minute ride because. Yeah. That's how long the speech was, and we were rehearsing on the song <laughs> from Cape to Young. And then uh, I went, and then we went down to uh, Union to meet my brother because I had to go get the business cards. And then we took the Queen Streetcar, uh, the five hundred one. Yeah, from from Queen five, to the end of the world to the literally end. <laughs> literally, of the world. I've never gone that far so in Kipling. my life. It's a mission. Yeah. Kipling. It's a mission. So know. this place that they had the pitch competition was at. Kipling and imagine on the subway map Kipling and University or sorry Kipling and Union go a little bit south of that yeah and that's where the intersection it's at the end of the Toronto world. <laughs> yeah literally I j- but I just remember it 
I don't know, maybe it was just me, but it was beautiful. Oh, it was beautiful. I remember like the, the sun, the was sun shining down. in, yeah. and it was just beautiful. It, looked, it oh was just my an amazing day, and I just remember feeling like, we're fucking getting this yeah. five rats. But also, <laughs> no, I remember that. But also, they... separately, like, I've gone back to that kind of area, like that Kipling and yeah. Green area, like, in the summertime, and I'm like, this is just a beautiful area. It's oh, just a is beautiful it nice? Area. Yeah, yeah. Man, it, it nice. was beautiful. Yeah. And we've yeah. never, like, I've never been there. I don't think I've been there since, but, like. It's just weird because it's, like, it's oh. old, yeah. and it kind of, like, looks like the hood, kind of, but it's, like, just so bright and beautiful. It's just, it's very Jeez, nice. Jeez, I'm getting goosebumps. Just, <laughs> just the rub his the leg. The sun yeah. just coming down. I remember that. I remember the seeing the sun shining in through the streetcar. Yeah. I'd be like, yo, this is beautiful. We're winning that five racks. Jeez. <laughs> and we lost. Oh. <laughs> and you lost. <laughs> yeah. So then, yeah, then we get in the place. We start scoping out our the competition. Our competition. And like, okay, yeah, you guys are soft, soft, soft. <laughs> Talking to them, trying to be friends, but just trying to hear what they're talking about. Like, yeah. Garbage. Oh yeah. Oh you. Oh you just started past the lines. Okay, good. You're oh, done. you still yeah. have cue cards. You have cue cards in your hand. Right what? <laughs> Yo. <laughs> you have cue cards. You didn't memorize it. Come what? on, bro. They didn't even give a shit about that. Yeah, I'm like, bro. you don't care. You don't care about the no, five the racks. Didn't the care judges, about you yeah, guys the judges measure, memorized. We were the only ones. I'm pretty sure, right? That memorized or, or our whole presentation. Y'all just too good. So. Yeah, we were the only ones that memorized the whole presentation. I still can't believe that. That's crazy. Which is kind of fucked, too, when you think about it. It's like it's a five-minute presentation. and like, like Yeah, there was three that. of us, but That's like a song. every group had more than one person. So yeah. It's like, yeah. And even if it's one person, I can I can memorize a five-minute presentation exactly. in a day. Like, Is that whatever. where we met Dwayne Holness? Uh, that's where we officially met Dukes, yeah. Did I know him? I knew we him knew before. of him. Of him, I think we. Uh, you might have. I met feel him. like I met him or something. I'm not why, too sure. Why, where did we, I meet we him? We definitely had a conversation. I had a talk with him before on Skype, mm. and then I think you might have either met him or had a conversation with him as well. Okay. But we never actually. I don't think we. I don't know. I. And I haven't yeah. never met him. He. He before. was the. I think he was the final. Holy fuck! He was the <laughs> finalist. I think on one of the. Yeah. The years. This yeah, is. If, yeah. If you know who Dookie Dukes is, he's a director from here in Toronto. Um, and that's basically how he was already doing shit like us, but that's how he got like his start yeah. for his like Corex creatives. Also, thing. Manifesto got their start in the first yeah, conver- uh, in yeah. the first pitch uh, iteration that we were. It was, what's it called? The Art Rich uh, pitch competition. Pitch, con- pitch, I don't even yeah, know pitch contest. contest. Yeah, yeah. Pitch contest. So the first year, yeah, Manifesto won, and uh, was there was somebody else. That's notable, crazy. So all those companies were coming up around that time. Huh? Yeah, and that's why we thought we're up you next. You guys were coming up. Yeah, like two that's years bullshit, before, like Manif- yeah. I think Manifesto yeah, no, was like two it, years we, before. We were in like, like the fifth uh, version of it or the fifth year of it or something. Like Scarborough yeah. was Scarborough yeah. Arts even a thing back then? Like very, not really. It was a small little entity. Scarborough Arts in general, just art. Oh, just the, the art scene in Scarborough and oh, even, even yeah, Scarborough was, Arts. Well, no, yeah, no, the arts like everything. The arts Ooh. community was not non-existent. Yeah, uh, yeah so, the, which is maybe crazy. Scarborough. Yeah, Scarborough Arts probably existed, but like the the community was shambles, huh? I don't know, but we had Kevin was saying light died. Sorry, guys. (laughs) Kevin was saying something about something. Yeah, uh, I had it. He was in the middle of a hard thought. Yeah, yeah, the light just died. (laughs) Something about like the difference between then and now. Uh, Man's are up. Different man's are up. That's basically all. Different, you know, man. Not all. Oh, we're talking about manifesto and yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, The the other other people that have received this money are now doing things. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that's. Uh, I guess at that time, Manifesto was basically where they, you know, at their peak, where where we thought that you know, yeah. they they weren't they let's they're not any bigger than they than they were. Maybe they they got a little bit bigger than yeah. when than now, but uh, yeah, we we were essentially thinking like this was the launching pad for like mm-hmm. small Toronto groups to take it to the next level, right? And. So we were we were thinking realistically, but then we were also trying to be like, you know, we have all the ideas, you know, and it it was a combination of both where we're like we're trying to take it to the next level, but we have the we have the the ideas to to already be a company that's you know that should be established, right? Mm -hmm. But we were nowhere, (laughs) and all we wanted was to split five thousand dollars. Yeah. Yeah. Do you guys Which remember anything uh, other really like good. any specific moments from that day? Like I remember w- when we were first, um, like when we first got in and we, like we were practicing. And I think I don't know. I remember getting cheese. At uh, you guys, do you guys remember that? No. 
I got cheesed at both of you guys because like we were like, so like we had our practice round on the mm-hmm. stage. Yeah. It wasn't like we. I was like fucking going crazy or whatever. No, no, but I it was kind of like, you oh, know how you know how I am. Like if everyone's not, if everyone isn't on fucking point. Yeah, no, I remember. We were like, you were just like, yo, we need to get this. Like this yeah. is, it's happening just now. Like, yeah, we need like, to we need add to this pra- down. And it was, I, I don't remember like exactly what no, it was. It was, but it was kind of like, probably like mans were just like, not. Cause, Cause, it wasn't the real thing. Yeah, right? so we were just like, like oh, oh, okay, fuck, whatever. Yeah. We'll just worry, worry yeah. about it. And I was probably like, yo, like, this let's is get the it. Real like, thing. this is it. No, like we need to. We, yeah. So I, yeah. I remember no, that. I, I remember that now. Uh, I remember us walking to the back, and it was like dark. I remember I that too. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, like that. Uh, I remember the. I remember the blue. Remember the blue. Yeah, the blue. Yeah, 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 the, yeah the blue. That was crazy. I, 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 I snapped, and yeah. then it didn't get saved. I have that. I mean, it's good that I don't have it now because we. <laughs> Basically, I had this Snapchat uh, in in my phone. We there was like this small blue room right before you get onto the stage. So it was like this, you you know, you come up these stairs from like where you are and like where the back room where we were waiting. And then there's just like this one little room that had this weird blue light for some reason. Ooh. Yeah. And we were waiting there for like it was a minute. Dark. You it really was see so each other. like. So I pulled out Snapchat and we were crazy. like, "Yo, we're about to, you know, we're about to crush this Prezi, like, you know, we're about to go crazy." <laughs> and then for some reason it didn't save, and I guess in in retrospect, it's, but it would it also have been great to have. Yeah, it, it would have been yeah. sick. Yeah. Um, but so we went on. But the the crazy part about that room though is you you hear the other people pitching. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah, yeah. So you hear like it's like you know toned down you can barely hear them but you can hear like the crowd cheering yeah, and yeah, shit. yeah, yeah, yeah and you're yeah. like okay like hmm okay well, are, are they, <laughs> is it are they getting a lot of love or whatever like and i think did we hear a lot of cheering i don't know this is a, it was clearly people's supporters yeah so that was the other thing is like people were bringing supporters and so obviously like if you bring your oh. supporters and they're cheering loud it's Yo, like that's a great point too so uh, the year before, this pitch was held in the Scarborough Town Civic Center. Yes, yes. Uh, literally, cool. I could run there. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And yeah. Uh, this time, it was literally held. If you imagine, like, look, if you were to plot, like, our, where we live, like, oh where we, me and Sanfrey live in, in Toronto, because technically we live in Toronto, and then you were to pick the furthest point <laughs> from us in Toronto, in Toronto. that's, still that's Toronto. where... If you yeah, just pick the most is, random and, far point. And I'm not talking about GTA, I'm not talking about Brampton and yeah. Mississauga, I'm talking about Tor- the city of Toronto, the six yeah. boroughs. Pick pick where we live because we live on the furthest east side and then pick the farthest part from us That's we live on the on the was. northeast yeah. and they sent us to the southwest, southwest. yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's, that's crazy. crazy yeah yeah holy and the year before it was two minutes away from us but whatever yeah, so we would have had a hundred people in the audience at that yeah, time and ready. this time we had none <laughs> yeah, we asked friends to come out. They're like, yeah, 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 we're pulling and out. I get it. Like, I where's w- it at? I wouldn't be a man. We'll to be come there. Out that. <laughs> <laughs> to be honest with you, I wouldn't. Nah. Come yeah, I wouldn't have come out to that either. <laughs> nah, it's too far. Yeah. yeah, you're only coming out if it's a group thing. Like, if yeah. everyone's going, then it's like. Okay, yeah, once yeah. one or two men that you knew weren't going, then you're like, right, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, we were low. We were low key, kind of expecting people to yeah. come. Oh yeah, yeah. Because yeah. we're like, yo, it's so deep out here. I hope we can at least get a drive right, back. That. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. <laughs> then, uh, yeah. About that. So then, so then you had to take the the train all the way back. Yeah, you know, this to is the other hard. side of the world. Yeah. Not Anyways, just, so yeah, train. we'll we'll get, we'll get to that. Yeah, yeah. So, an L train. The light, the light transit. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if you ever taken taken an L train before. It's a yeah. different ride. Yeah. It's an L train. Yeah, yeah it's, we'll like, get to it's that. like the blue line, but it's yeah, not. your heart. <laughs> it's a lot harder. It's a lot more uncomfortable. <laughs> <laughs> Silent. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah i mean we're in this room like we had a moment like it was a beautiful moment to be honest like we were together like we felt a lot of togetherness yeah. at that moment yeah. like yo like we we have faith in ourselves like we've done everything we possibly could yeah. to put ourselves in yeah, this like, position you know in those movies like right before they go on stage and they have that little huddle it, we did it. yeah like, did a huddle, like yeah. some drum line yeah. shit yeah, like yeah. <laughs> we, we kind of had that yeah, yeah. not like the some huddle but we were like some yo, stomp the yard no i feel like we did do a huddle uh, yeah, yeah, yeah we did yeah. a little yeah. huddle yo. I mean, there might have been a speech <laughs> a little speech to there might have been a speech who knows <laughs> see that's the thing is like we don't know anymore because we're never going to do any of those things ever again <laughs> Like anytime <laughs> if, if men's are on the Grammy stage, we're never gonna talk I'm about that. Well, you know, speech. Yeah. yeah. Thanks. <laughs> Yo, thanks. Yeah. Thanks, fam. Thanks, man. Um, and then yeah, we just we went out. And, we walked and on. Did it. Yeah, we walked on stage and we crushed we it. Crushed. Yeah. It. No, we had some good energy, man. Yeah. Like, 
everything went according to plan. Yeah, yeah. It's not like we messed up. No one yeah. stumbled. Like it was like pretty. It was like flawless, flawless victory. Yeah. It you know like like when you see the thing is when you have rehearsals and when you have a presentation you gotta assume that there's going to be a rehearsal run that's going to be perfect and then the presentation you have to assume that you're gonna be like 90 95 percent accurate yeah. right like yeah. you just you just you're just hoping to be in that like 90th percent you know yeah. like where you're like yeah we we nailed most of it <laughs> and we we nailed like 97 98 percent of it yeah, realistically pretty much. like it and so when you think about it like that it's like if you're thinking the expectation of a of the live presentation is supposed to be like 90 percent of what you expect we did like 98 yeah. percent you know what i mean yeah. there was maybe like a, like a word stumble. I think there was like maybe a stutter. Yeah, like that didn't even really throw man's exactly. off. It was like a, that's it was a I mean. normal regular. That's, like, that's it's it's, <laughs> it's stupid to think about like yeah we weren't perfect because we were perfect. Yeah, because if we got the money. Because then... the other thing about this, yeah, man, and we I think we downplay this a lot. The just the coordination and the direction. Oh, yeah. Of the presentation yeah. was immaculate. Yeah. These guys had to hop off the stage. To yeah, do we the demonstration, interacting with the judges while the other man was talking. Yeah, Ooh. it was wild. Was Bro, crazy. we had timing. Nobody else had time. We had to because we played this the video that we made of us with the song Wave, and there was like it was like basically like a twenty second video, of it was super random. It <laughs> we were the the way that us three were introduced on the stage was me throwing a fucking a wood. A wood, a, <laughs> a wood stump. Yeah, into the rouge, <laughs> into the into the Lake Ontario. But it was the hardest. It, it sounds stupid, but that, it was. It was one, like one of the, the hardest it, it's, openings it's ever. It's probably in the top ten of videos I, that we made still. Like, and I think it's in the top ten yeah. openings or walkouts. Oh, yeah. I'm talking about even with wrestling. Like, <laughs> yeah. this is better than yeah. some wrestlers' entrances. <laughs> yeah, probably. Yeah. <laughs> That's that's a good description that's though. Yeah. That's what it was though. Yeah, we, we had it's a just a yeah, hype. We had a we had a, we had a, yeah. a wrestler entrance yeah. video and song, yeah. and I yeah. could see it on the audience. They were just flabbergasted. Yeah. Like they didn't know what to expect. They just knew it was gonna be hot. I yeah. literally like I remember being up there and feeling like this feels like a fucking Apple presentation. <laughs> like I feel like we're doing a fucking Apple keynote right now. That's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> we just dropped the cyber truck on them. You know? it's just <laughs> easy. Yeah, real shit. Like it just felt like a real key keynote like a keynote event we had fucking yeah. fucking geeks in the crowd yeah. fucking watching us we like, had the the choreo the choreography with the hands behind our back yes yeah. hands behind the backs Ooh. yo we have we have picture we have there's some album like in, yeah i have in it the in, docs, the, in the yo. google drive we can, yeah we can add all these pictures there's, <laughs> there's bare pictures that explain like what we're talking about right yeah now. it's crazy it's not not the shit. blue i wish we had the blue room but everything else we ha- there's pictures of that shit i remember like you know we're just we're we're talking to the competition we're you know we're, we're coordinated on the, yo the stage pictures are crazy because yeah. like there's one of like you talking and like me and jamal are like, <laughs> looking like you know like it's like yeah. a black, li- yeah, it's a black lives matter <laughs> 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 so, like, <laughs> kill me, bro. it really does look like that though because we're all wearing black we're just blacked out bro and we're standing there just <laughs> It's crazy. It's, it's like Sam it's serious, talking about like, intimidating. Like, like all the injustices. In like the we were there. Like we looked like we were there for five racks. Like guys had fucking weird. coordinated outfits. Yeah. Coordinated outfits, all black. We had the logo on the shirt, bro. It's crazy. The logo. This was this crazy. was the company that we're starting. We had the logo on the shirt. This was pre Silicon yeah, Valley. Yeah, you guys yeah. had that. Shit. And we flipped all, again. We bro, flipped business cards, talking, shirts. It's like you're investing like Dragons Den. Like yeah, yeah that's kind of what it was. This basically was basically Dragons Den. Yeah, we, it was we basically were treating it like Den. we we went on Dragons Den. Yeah. yeah, yeah, like that that level. Yeah, yeah. which is sick. Did so, we yeah. get immediate feedback? I don't remember. No. They, did they give us fee- or was it just you walk off? You walk off, and then you, okay. uh, you they call you out, and then you figure out what you got, yeah, and then yeah. why you got that or yeah. No, because I remember when we walked off, I th- was like we got ninety nine point nine percent sure we had it. Like, I was like, <laughs> I, we, I remember first, walking off, and I'm like, we got this. Like, I'm not, not even yeah, concerned. If not first place, I was like, okay, we might get screwed off yeah. the first place, but we'll get the second place. Just as that's what I thought. I was like, we're getting money. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so there was, it was a first and second place. So like, first place was five thousand, and second place was twenty five yeah, or yeah, I think it was twenty five yeah. or something. Yeah. It was something. It was, it was like you get, you know, you get the picture and the recognition. Yeah. we're like, we're getting awarded. Mm, yeah, something we did. I also remember before we went up, <laughs> before we went up, we were watching some of the presentations before, and we yeah. were just like, yo. Yeah, there's, there's no way that we're losing. There's two categories. There's like community and like career, which yeah. is funny because now we're in both. Yeah. And we and so we weren't in community. We were in the career one, I think. And uh, 
we were watching the community ones and we we're like yeah we we're gonna destroy these yeah like <laughs> just no f no effort yeah. was put in that's the problem it's just we, we were looking at people and we're like yeah they weren't they were, they you weren't were not serious. taking it serious showing up in regular clothes like not rehearsed it's not, not rehearsed. rehearsed oh you're getting cut off your time you didn't even go through half you didn't explain yeah what people you're are getting cut doing. off Bro, it was elementary school. You know, like when you yeah. when you're doing a presentation in elementary school and your your presentation is done, like it's like, yo, do a one minute presentation on yeah. on this. It's done is done. You have your page done, and then you see man's going up, and they clearly didn't even know what the, the whole structure. work assignment was. <laughs> yeah, and they're yeah. asking the teacher halfway through, it's like, okay, yeah. What am I talking 18, about? Uh, oh, this. What am I talking about? <laughs> That's what we were we were watching that. For mo- yeah. we were watching that on stage for money. Yeah. And we we're flabbergasted because we we're like, yo, bro, like, this is for money. Like, how are you not taking this seriously? And this is our first time seeing, like, everybody else's pitches yeah. going on. Yeah. Because even during the, the first time when we did the, the longer one, we didn't get to see anybody yeah. else's. We just did it. We just talked to the, uh, the, uh, the guys that were running the whole program. That's it. Yeah. Like, we, we saw the people's faces yeah. and we kind of talked to. Cause there was like an orientation and then there was like a meeting where you do the pitch. So we like, we knew of the people that we were competing against like beforehand. Yeah. And we like we, you know, we, we figured them out a little bit, but then at the pitch, we're like, oh, okay. Yeah. Like we got yeah, this because exactly. they just didn't, they didn't put in, did. yeah, they yeah. Didn't put in the time. <laughs> we were putting in the time. That's, that's what, that's what hurts me the most. Yeah. Just that we put in the time. And again, there were people that got cut off. There were people that had cue cards. Mm-hmm. There were people that, were stumbling just stumbling and looking yeah. like slobs. What's yeah. the one like you don't have to say who they were, but were they good or we were know, good? Do you know who? No, <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah, we were good. <laughs> I know you guys were good. No, you guys should have won. Do you do you know why you didn't like? Do you genuinely yeah. Yeah, know why? Yeah, because we were too good. They, that, they is literally. That facts? Is that facts? This was everybody you. watched this. There are witnesses. Yeah. So so the people uh, so in the category that we were in the career category or whatever it was called, I can't remember, but. People who won, uh, Alicia and uh, shout out to Alicia. Yeah, shout yeah. out to Alicia. And I think, she just did her I think film. She, yeah, I yeah. think she just won a Canadian Screen Award. Yeah, yeah. for yeah. best short film. Yeah, she did her film. Uh, what was got, it called? Pick, pick, yeah, pick. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah and yeah. I always, I thought that, I thought I that idea was sick when she. Yeah, no, that was she's, another pitch. She's contest, always though. coming hard. Yeah, yeah. yeah. She's always she, coming hard. She was. That was the one girl. We're like, that's our competition. If there's any competition here, she's always the competition. Yeah, she's always been the competition though. Because there's more stories. So like we didn't get to see her, their pitch because they were right before us and they're in the same categories as us. So we did, they but we we actually talked to them the most. So we kind of probably knew about their pitch the most. Yeah. Uh, without like seeing their pitch, but we heard about it and yeah. we heard it was good. Yeah. But we we're like, yeah, no, like obviously it was good, but like ours is crazy. But and, I I remember that they had cue cards. Yeah. I remember that. They didn't right. memorize but anything. They they brought they out. Good. They showed out with their yeah. supporters, though. Yeah, they, they had they had a lot of supporters. And then, so the thing that I think that it came down to with with, uh, with that was I, I I don't remember how we learned this in, the, in about their presentation, but I remember like there being a part in their presentation when they talked about like how they didn't have the funding. If yeah. they didn't get this pitch, they wouldn't have like this this shit wouldn't have been made. Like their yeah. film would have been made. Mm. Like I I remember hearing something about like. Them really stressing that like if they didn't get this money then they then this shit wouldn't have happened mm. and we didn't have that mm. we never had a, a contingency statement which is very okay. common in grants yeah. Now, where yeah, yeah, yeah yeah there's always going to be this section oh. of the grant where it's like if you don't get this much funding or as much funding as you expected like what are you going to do and we never really addressed that in the grant we never really yeah. said like yo if we don't get five thousand dollars we're not going to do this yeah mm-hmm. that was that's a fact. good point that was yeah because yo back was, then we weren't leaning on we didn't lean at all on any of like the socioeconomic yeah. status of Scarborough. We never I don't think we not ever well, I, don't once. Think we, I, never started. I don't think we ever said that we're from never. Scarborough. Never. And we and never, never we never mentioned that we're people of color. We never no. mentioned uh, yeah. not at all. <laughs> <Nothing>. <laughs> Which is fucked too cuz it's not even Scarborough like we we all could have said that we're from Malvern. Yeah. Yeah. You know and uh and that shit was early to, for that too. Yeah. 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 We yeah. just didn't like identify Scarborough. Like that. Because yeah, we never really thought of ourselves like that. Because we were just stuck in this yeah. bubble the whole time. Identity. Everyone you know is from Scarborough. Identity thing was early. And yeah, again, that's when then. Mans were wishing we were downtown. And the yeah. thing yeah. too you is, guys like, were still younger. Yeah, like yeah we, we right? hadn't we hadn't written grants up that point. Once you write a couple grants, you realize that you got to lean in on that that marginalized thing, or else mm-hmm. you're not you're not getting yeah. those grants, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. And uh, we 
we were just there, but we didn't realize that like how how oh, valuable. Oh shit! shit. Yo, yo, damn, bro, yo, this guy guy's too heavy to for himself whoa, to fly, whoa, bro. Yo, yo, whoa, yo, 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 yo,
Okay. That's cool. not bad. That's no, not but bad. it'll die quick. Okay. Alright. So what do we do? How should we end it? Like <laughs> Well basically we lost and we found out that, you know, people thought we'd be fine without the money and it was very disappointing to hear. Um and it's honestly it's affected us to this day. <laughs> yeah, we just took the L train home. Yeah. Yeah, well, yeah, we'll which is a literally an L train because you guys took the L. Yeah, so <laughs> yeah. we had to take. <laughs> That's why you. So imagine if you had to take yeah. the bus, you had to take a bus from Union to Young. Yeah. To uh, to Bloor. Yeah. Um, but you're at Kipling, Kipling, and then you had to go from Kipling uh, all the way to Kennedy. Yeah. So we rode on from one end of the line to the next in silence, pretty much. <laughs> Just looking that, out the window. And that was the first time that I had <laughs> like a fat hour. Yeah, that was the, hour of your looking life. At the, out the window underground, by the way. <laughs> I know. <laughs> it's dark. But in the West End, it's, kinda, it's, it's But in the West End, it was nice, but yeah. then you get closer to the it's East. It's fucking then, yeah. darkness. Yeah. yeah. Half the time, yeah, go on. But it was just, yeah, it was just one of yeah. the longest train rides home after being so confident, after putting in so much work, after getting T-shirts, business cards. Fucking demonstration videos, Think memorizing pres- you, you guys presentations. Threw that and in the trash, like, it's done. Yeah, <laughs> pretty much. You literally threw that away after that. Yeah, yeah. we're just like fuck it. This is the first time we're seeing these cards in a minute. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, we talk about them all the time. That's actually true. That's actually probably the first. That's the reason why I pulled these out uh, because I'm finally and even when I seen these uh, in my basement, I was still cheesed. Like, <laughs> I was still fucking upset. Like when I seen. Cool. Yeah. Um. Yeah, we we cut out kind of. We were on the L train. Fucking bad. Sorry, guys. The L train. Yes. Yeah. Yes. We're we're adapting to this outside pod, so just bear with us. Yeah, it's probably. I mean, it's gonna be the last one for a bit. But. Whoa, chill, bro. Next week. Next Whew. week. <laughs> we'll figure it out. I don't know. Yeah, I don't shit. know. But yeah. Um. Yeah, it was just the L train. We just had to take the train from one end of the city to the next, and still take a bus, several buses, uh, to so, get back yeah. home. Imagine. Uh, uh, so imagine Kipling to Kennedy, and then imagine having to take uh, two buses that, well, so the the one from to get to Kipling took about thirty minutes. Yeah. And then the one for us from Kennedy, imagine taking about forty five minutes. Yep. So imagine going and a in, walk. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so imagine outside doing <laughs> literally anything, everything that you could possibly do to to walk from one end of Toronto to the other. And yeah. We had to do that. Yeah. While holding that L deep in our hearts, yeah, the whole time. Yeah, I mean, we did. Sh- we shot a music video like two days later. So. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> yeah, we're we still just, back. On see, that's it. the thing. I feel back like that kind of helped. We kind of just went back to business after that. Like, yeah, we, just, like we didn't have good. like a full direction. We wouldn't have. We wouldn't have been as like. But it was kind of a thing where I guess we we realized that you know it wasn't uh, it wasn't like something that we were banking our whole careers on anyway. So it was just like a bonus, but yeah. Not a bonus, but it was supposed to be something that would take our career to the next level. But we were just we we had things in place that would take us keep us going. And then a couple months later, you know, we we started talking about the watching TV idea. And then a year after that, we started talking about Wave. And then uh, yeah, the rest is history. So what's but the lesson you learned, Jamal? Um, the lesson I learned in all of that was uh, no matter how, how how hard you try. It's not enough. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I mean, that, this is facts to that. No, but it, you could try your hardest, and if it's just not for you, it's just not for you. It's you know what I mean? Whatever. And, you, and you're and you just going to have to deal with that. Learn how to take your L's and stride, you know, and just yep. and still happens, progress bro, when it stops, past stops, them. What happens, that happens. <laughs> You know? <laughs> what did you learn? I like what you just said. Maybe yeah. I'll just add on, you know, this, like, I guess to relate it back to what's going on today and like today's day and times, like people always like to bring about the argument, like, oh, you could just work harder. Yeah. You know, like yeah. you could work harder to get your opportunity. Like, why are you complaining? Yeah. And this is a perfect example of like a group of people kind of putting in their best foot forward. And like, I don't want to sound like gas myself up. Maybe we weren't the best, but like objectively, I think we were in the upper echelon. I think and we still didn't get the money. I think there's enough yeah. time that's passed for us to objectively say that, <laughs> that we were the best. We were the best. <laughs> upper no echelon. Be upper echelon. Because, like, yeah, no, like, it, at the time, we would have been like, yeah, no, we got fucked over. And that's true as well. Yeah. But I think that 
where we because like I literally started this conversation by saying like I'm not salty about it. But yeah, we are still salty. We're about salty it, clearly. about it. But like I'm not salty about what happened. I'm salty about that moment specifically. <laughs> but yeah. yeah. Yeah, I feel you. But yeah, I mean, back to the point. It's just, you know, it's not it's not all in your control, and there's other forces at play, yeah. and yeah. so and that's just you know, the world isn't fair. And I guess the point is, we gotta get to a place where the where the world is a bit more fair. Yeah, and we're gonna be continuing to have the conversation that bounces off of this next week. We're just gonna end the pod here, just because everything's dying on us, and yeah, uh, yeah, <laughs> Ian's computer's about to die. Yeah, I just don't want to lose everything we just recorded. So, so. <laughs> thank you for listening to the Lost and Talks podcast today. We're gonna be talking about Pop Smoke's cover art next week. We're gonna be talking about the gatekeepers of Toronto and what we need to do to start a new revolution for the city so that people can actually get on because there's nothing happening. Facts. It's going to be a long, so, deep conversation. Yeah, next week's pod is going to be really good. Yes. Um, please join us for it. I'm going to be doing Edward 40 Hands to make up for today's because I forgot fucking LCBO and everything's closed Jeez. on Canada Day. So if fans want to join, feel free. Very wild. Yeah, we um, and yeah, yo, thank you for listening. Lost in Talks podcast, episode 40. Thanks, Sam, for pulling up as per usual. Peace out. Um, and- Thank you.